Having a loop at the end of your game fishing setup or line is uh, very handy for attaching um, swivels or wind on leaders. And the best knot, especially in heavier lines from 50 pound um, and above, is the plat knot. So today we're going to do the plat knot. We've got the, uh, our game fishing set up here with 80 pound mono on it and I'm going to stick it in the rod holder so I can get good tension on it. One of the biggest tips for doing a plat knot is being able to hold even pressure on the line while you're doing the plats. And I find having the rod in the rod holder uh, with the drag right up enables us to um, get nice good even pressure on the line while doing our plats. So to start off the plat knot we usually have about a 60 to 70 centimetre tag end and what we do is we hang on to the main line uh, good tension, we put the tag in under the main line and then fold it over the top of it. And then pull tight on the, uh, on the main part of the line there. We then bring the left hand side back over the centre one. And then on the right hand side we bring that back into the centre as well. Left hand into the centre. And every time we do that, so in this case we go on the right hand into the centre, we pull the centre one back up. Left hand into the centre, pull the old centre back up. Right hand into the centre, pull the old centre up. Every time you pull that the old centre back up, it creates tension and pulls the plaits nice and tight. So we go the left hand side, across the centre, the old centre up. Right hand across the centre, the old centre up. Left hand across the centre, pull the old centre line up. Right hand across the centre, pull the old centre up. Left hand across the centre, pull it up. And we keep doing this so that uh, the plait is roughly about 50 millimetres long. There we go. And always putting nice tension when you're pulling the old centre line back up. One of the most satisfying knots to do in my, my eyes. It looks beautiful once it's all tied up nice and tight and even. Very strong. It's got a lot of um, shock absorption as well, so um, it, it's quite a springy knot. Great on these heavier lines. Every time you take a wrap on the next, the, the, the line that comes out the side, it pays to get your hands and Take a wrap on it so you can hold good tension into the centre. Take a wrap on it, pull it up. It's just applying that nice even pressure the whole way through. And that's the secret to the, a nice tight plait knot is having really good even pressure right throughout the knot. Okay, we've got our plaits pretty good there. Get a couple more wraps and what we want is we've got our tag end um, we want that to end up in the middle before we start the next step of this knot right so now we've got our tag end we're about to fold this into the middle so when we fold it into the into the middle again we actually double it over so we're actually putting a double line into the middle okay we're going to hold that then pull the opposite side over top of it and then keep doing the same process again. Back into the centre, pull it tight. That loop, we're putting it into the middle, pulling it tight. Back into the middle, pulling it tight. The other side, pulling it tight in the middle. The loop back into the middle, pulling it tight. Left hand into the middle, pulling it tight. So we just keep doing those alternate plates again. I like to do about 12 plates and then get that loop, the little loop, back into the centre as we have there and now this is how we finish the knot off. So we've got our double line which has now been plaited over itself through the centre. We're going to get the end of our loop, put it through the little loop that we've got in the centre, pull it right, everything back through itself and then we need to get our tag line and we're going to pull that tight which is then going to pull this loop up nice and tight and finish the knot off. I like to, to grip this with my teeth. I find I've got my hands pulling the, uh, the, the loop, my other hand's holding this knot, knot nice and tight, and I find I have to use my teeth to pull this up, so, or to get it started. Okay, 
once you've got it started you can then finish it off by hand take a wrap on it put a lot of tension on it with nice even tension you can wet it take a wrap pull the nice the line nice the knot nice and straight and then we have our tag line which is now running back through um, the end of our plait we're going to cut off our tag end we're going to get a cigarette lighter we've got our tag end and we're just going to burn that down being careful not to heat up the main line so there you go, that's the plait knot. It's a fantastic knot for making a loop in monofilament that's 50 pound or more. Uh, once you've got your loop formed, you can attach a uh, snap swivel or a wind on leader with a cat's paw knot. If you want to learn more about a cat's paw knot, check out our other videos in this series.